What's happening, Panda Nation? Coffee drinking pandas, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, you know I like coffee, and so why not finally uh, bite the bullet and pick up one of these Nespresso machines? I've been out there a long time. I've used them a couple of times, my friends. Amy and Kyle have one, and they're great. Uh, you know, but I wanted to do some research and pick one up that, you know, I thought might kind of suit my needs. And despite the fact that George Clooney endorses it, I, I like Danny DeVito, so I picked one up uh, despite George Clooney. But listen, hey, this one I picked up is a Breville, Breville branded one. Um, it's also the one that seems to be on the Nespresso website, so I think it's kind of the quintessential one for them. I uh, picked this up, it's not that expensive, and I'm pretty impressed with what you get for it. So I didn't pull it out of the box here live, I just pulled everything out and I wanna show you. It comes with some paperwork, including some instructions, which I took a look at. It comes with the maker here, and then it also comes with what looks like a uh, nine capsules of roasting ground coffee that we can use in it. Now you'll notice here it says Virtuo, and that's because this is basically the Nespresso 2.0 version. So I'm not gonna get into the differences between the original line and the Virtuo too much here. I'll do that in another video because there are some key differences. And if you're looking to buy an Nespresso machine, you definitely want to consider those differences. So I do like the fact that it comes with some of these, that way you know what the capsules look like so when you're out shopping for them, you can try them out. The other thing is you can also maybe help uh, determine what taste you enjoy you know especially if espresso is something new to you so I have this I also have a sampler pack of some of the best-selling espressos now in the Virtuo line these these cups look like little pods little round half uh, circles half spheres and that's uh, gonna be the telltale sign that they're different from the original line however it is my understanding as we look at the coffee maker here that there are even two different types of Virtuo pods. So let me just show you. We have a you know a cord here. This is only maybe like two and a half feet long. It's not the longest cord, but as a countertop appliance, that's not, you know, probably not too shocking. And uh, the, the coffee maker itself is relatively nice looking. In fact, I think quite a bit nicer looking than a lot of the Keurigs out there, which is what I currently have. It has a pretty wide base, it's about a foot long and maybe about uh, eight or nine inches wide here. And the whole thing is actually decently heavy. Now what I wanna show you is it has this black plastic bottom, a little piano black, glossy black finish around the edges. And then we have kind of this rising, almost Art Deco-like, uh, Cloud City-like coffee maker. It does um, kind of exude a little bit of the old world espresso coffee maker look you know it almost would be more appropriate to have it in like a copper finish but uh, looks pretty good as a kind of a homebrew machine a couple things that I want to point out is that it has what looks to be like a metal grate that uh, supports uh, the coffee cups when you put it on here and uh, there are pretty big holes here so anything that drips through the bottom here you should be able to clean up and this tray out at the bottom here actually just slides out and you can open this up and rinse it out, put it into your washing, dishwasher I should say. Now, this has to come out for another reason too. If you put a really tall cup, this gives you another inch or so at the bottom so that you can put a tall cup in there. And a regular coffee cup, you would just put in here right on the bottom. Now, this little tray also has a slot, you know, a couple inches above, and that's where you would put in your much smaller, like two ounce espresso cup. So you put it up here and I think that is just to keep it from splashing too much. There's two types of pods, a much thicker pod and then a thinner, shallower pod. And that's how it determines what cup to make. It either uses the full, full pod to brew a full cup of coffee, or it reads the shorter pods and brews the shot. Now it does that with a little barcode on the rim. And so one of the things that the instructions say is that it might take 15 seconds for you to press okay and execute and brew a cup of coffee for it to, to read that a barcode determine what it is but particularly how much water to add to your cup of coffee okay so what we have is a nice chrome finish up in the top and let me just talk about what these two winged pods are for so you can see them on the both sides they look like water reservoirs but only this one is only this one on this side and it kind of just lifts up this is very similar to the Keurigs you can see there is a little uh, port in there where the water would uh, drain from the reservoir into there when you put it down and you can see this is a pretty big reservoir I don't know 30 ounces maybe doesn't it's not marked it has some corrugation on the outside and then a cap that flips over now this side is a bit different even though it also looks like a reservoir um, it's like almost the exact same thing but it's got a big cut out here and that's because when you open this thing up it ejects the pods in there very different than the Keurigs I really do like that it happens 
uh, to be a feature on both the original line and the Virtuo line. So when you open these up, it shoots it in there. And that's because I think they're assuming you're making in rapid succession a few shots of espresso. So here is the sampler pack that it comes with and what it'll show you here is the different flavors. So what I'm gonna start with is the Decaffeinato Intenso, this little red pod here. And we're gonna go ahead and just open it up. I'm just gonna put this in here just like that. And I am going to close it. So you power it on, put the pod in, close it down, lock it, and then just hit that button and now I can hear the thing humming and whirring, getting ready to deliver me a delicious cup of decaffeinated espresso. There it comes. All right, man. Just moments away from trying this sucker out. So there it is, and if you're familiar with espresso, you know it doesn't make a lot. I think this is about an ounce or something. So let's give it a try. Ooh. That's good. I don't have to worry about it keeping me up all night too because that's decaffeinated. Wow, that's got some punch. A um, lot of taste, little bitterness. Um, oh man, pretty robust. I like the fact that it's just a little frothy as well too, man. Okay, so now that I'm done with that cup of coffee, the reset procedure here is just to move this back and pull it all the way and that's gonna jack this thing up and you can see it goes in there. Now I'm going to take the same type of coffee and uh, this is the larger pot. I think this will do a larger cup I'm assuming. Just put it in there and push it down and then lock this sucker up. You're going to want to make sure it clicks like that. And what we have there is our lit light. So the good news about that lit light is that it's ready to go already. So I'm going to just put my coffee cup in there and I'm just going to hit this button and you can hear it. And so here it comes. I have a much fuller cup of coffee here, even quite a little bit of head on that, uh, definitely frothy. But I didn't do anything to the coffee maker aside from putting in the different cartridge. So it determined to do all of that on its own, right? So it's determining how much water and how long to brew based on the cartridge that you put in there, which I love, you know, that little barcode, uh, even though it's more of like a, oh, intellectual property protection type of thing, um, it does take some of the instruction and offload it to the machine so you don't have to deal with it. Now let's try this cup. Mm. Wow, that's hot. Wow, and delicious. Mm. I can understand enjoying a little cup of espresso. Pretty tasty. Um, I like this machine, check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's not that expensive. It comes with a sampler pack uh, that you can try right away. Mm. Hmm, kind of want another one. Anyway, if you want to pick up one of these Nespresso machines, uh, check it out. Like I said, about a hundred bucks and uh, comes with some samplers and makes a delicious cup of espresso. Peter Von Panda, out!